So if I want to find the maximum from this side, or you say the maximum marks of the subject, so what, what we are going to do? Is there something called as print the minimum value of this risk? Let's say C. Sorry, uh, we want the maximum, right? Minimum is C. It's saying C. C is having 99 and that is maximum. But the outcome, what I, I can see is C. Why it is coming? This is due to the ORDs, you know, ordinals, the ASCII codes. Every individual character has its own ASCII code. If you go on Google, you'll be getting all the ASCII codes. But still, like they have a lot of uh, you know, alphabets and all, right? Ranges from there to there. So we can make it here too, right? If I if I make it through the alphabets, it will be easier. Uh, just a minute. If I write A L P, and I get make it a list of elements like A B C D E F G H. Oh, like this okay and <clears throat> all right so let me do a copy of this So ALP looks this, ABC up to Z, and this caps would be, let me print this. So ALP is, are the small letters from A to Z, and the caps are the capital letters from your small to Z. Okay, that's fine. Um, all right. So we are to be making it, okay. Now ASCII codes are like very pretty uh, easy to get it, right? We'll be making it uh, just a minute. Yeah. So I would be saying for i in your ALP print the i and then O R D of that i. I run this you can see the ASCII codes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H and like all right similar to this with the same program you can find the ordinals of the rest capital letters so through this we can find that C is having 67 and then you are having here as M, S and E so M is having okay E is having 69 M is having 77 S is having 83 all other are the highest right so due to this ASCII codes you are getting the minimum of this results as C 99 but still you are getting so we need to find the minimum of this marks hmm? so what if you do minimum of the marks of result dot values you know right so even if you to say the rest dot values you get the values so what do you say like minimum of this would give you the marks of 95 but what is 95 you know where which key is 95 so you will be like right rest of your uh, subjects where your rest dot key rest dot keys is equal equals to 95 like the values you know, right where it is so you need to find the things so for that we'll need to write uh, just a single statement over there to get the things easily written. Uh, let me accept the one thing. Yeah. For that we'll be writing up as very easy, and that would be we need the maximum. So we'll be using max. If we need the minimum, we'll be using right. So I'll be using both of them. Okay. So first let's write the max one. So max of your dress that would be there. 
okay but here you will be giving a comma and you will be writing that you want the key right not not the results values and all you want the key so you'll be writing res dot get so it says c uh, is this c yeah so maximum is c right because 99 is there i think and minimum of this res and then again we want the key res dot get so c and e now we'll see uh, where what is there in the e so rest of your e is having 95 and rest of your c is having 99 and complete rest dot values 98 97 95 99 is highest okay fine and then 95 is the least right fine so you get the correct results okay so if the values are there given if you need the values you need to find the lowest values with your keys you can find out with the same way otherwise you have to do it like this okay all right uh let's come to the nested dictionaries and let's learn how these things are made oh just a minute So I have pasted some nested dictionary here, right? And this is like one of the data taken from the um, like where it was from the cricket website. What is it? I actually don't remember the website name. So from there it is good. So like batting average Indian players and some player names are there, not some one, two, three, four, five, multiply one, two, three, four, five, twenty-five minus two, twenty. Three are there. Okay, twenty-three players are there here. Okay, and then the span, then their matches, their innings, their what is that number of something, then runs, highest scores, average, batting average, strike rates, hundred fifty, zero fours, and six. Okay, not taking up some wickets and all. Okay, okay. So this is a nested dictionary. So what you can see here is like there is a dictionary where there is a key, and inside that there are lists. Again, there is a key, then there are lists. Again, there is a key, then there are lists. Okay, list of numbers. And lists, right? Not exactly a kind of nested because we haven't created some dictionaries here inside a dictionary, but if you can say like one dictionary over there. It will run this. Okay. All right. Uh, let's wait. Now, if I want to see what all are the values of this. Average Indian player, so I'll be making it as some um, IND player or IND SQAD. Is spelling correct? Okay, so it's Indian squared, and I will be taking it like IND dot the keys. So what all are the players so you'll be getting like what all the keys sorry so keys are there players span matches innings number and all the rest things right and if you want to see the number of players what all are the players here so we'll be taking as ind and i'll be giving it as player so i get all the player names here written if i, I can even print this so these are all the player names. Now, if you want to go through any one player, you can go through them too, right? Like uh, in the player, if you want to go through like M A Agarwal, so you need to uh, make the changes in the M A Agarwal. Like if if you are saying I N D underscore of squared of the player, so you get all these. Now, if you say inside this, you want to go through Mayank Agarwal. So A G A R W A L. So what do you see? List indices must be integers or slices, not the strings, right? So here there is no such data of that. So you are not going to get anything of that player, right? Okay. But what we can do is we can basically uh, no. We can make it into a data frame and then we can make a. Uh, 
CSV file of this and then we can do it right so what we'll do is we will create a CSV file you know creating CSV file this is important for you to learn how you create it from here CSV Excel HTML format any format I'm talking about okay you can create it, the things from here now for this you need something called as pandas all right okay so this is import pandas after this see this is your uh, dictionary name is i n d underscore squared right so you would be making a data frame right data frame is nothing but a two dimension rows and columns you understand it right a combination of rows and columns you just understand a matrix you can say so uh, data frames would be pd dot the same manner you have to also write when you're making things in there and this dnf would be capital and the data what you'll be using is your ind underscore of square that's it so once completed the things you can find your data frame there uh, your yeah data frame so it's still running uh, you completed now you click on df so this is stored in df if you run this df you would be getting all these things right so exactly a tabular sheet of form what you were expecting from there right so what you have created is this what what this all has been written here inside this dictionary is this csv file now this could be downloaded in and could be open in excel in html formats in json formats okay so what we'll be doing it here so here this player because now if we need to in access any player's data like ma agarwal it is there right even so i need to write da.locate and then i need to write it like zero okay then only i'm going to get mayank agarwal's data only right so now you will not be able to understand like what is zero and all because you don't have to go through all the data science and all right you will be going with the basics of this right so what we need to do is every time like with whatever the row sorry whatever the column you need to access your total data you have to set this as index so i'll be uh, writing it at like df dot set index as player and now see my df would be set as like index complete index would be this okay this one uh, somewhere zero was there just a minute let me see yeah zero was there so this is my dictionary if you, if you look on right so i will be saying df is equals to this df and now df would be this right now if i want to locate see guys if i want to see that what is the what is the uh, total batting uh, average of like rohit sharma right if i want to look on to rohit sharma so rg sharma is there for that i am going to see for rohit sharma so i will be doing it as like <clears throat> df of sorry df dot locate okay you try to learn these all okay so it will help you so df dot locate and what you need to do is rohit sharma so rg and then sharma okay if these are in the small cases so i see uh, you can see up there like the span is this data is from 2013 2019 Matches played 32 innings 53 number uh, something like you know what is it is there seven runs 2141 highest score 212 average is there batting would be there something strike rates hundreds d04 and 6 and the name is Rohit Sharma and the data type is there okay. complete result has been there now out of this this complete data you need to learn how to get accessing of your data right now who has played the number of most matches if you want to find that the most number of matches out of this all the players most number of matches who has played you want to go to that so you need to go through column accessing you know that is called as column access till now what you have done is accessing rows if you go through the things like Mayank Agarwal, Rohit, R, Ashwin, Bumrah and all this so basically here what you are doing is accessing the rows now you need to go through the matches right so these are the columns We'll be going through the columns right now. So what you will be doing is your df of what column it is? 
M A T yeah okay so it is M A T so M A T so all the values are there right so who has played for what number of times what you will do is max max is 97 see so 97 is the maximum value okay or value counts if would see value counts one and okay that would be fine so says the max of 97 all right so what we're doing is here again df dot locate sorry Uh, we need to locate giving you the maximum of 97 or you can use the sorting values also best way is this hmm, very this could be the best one way to find the things so it's finding the easiest way for you okay because you'll be going through the indexing and all it will be very difficult for you to understand it okay so what you can do is you can write see understand so what we are doing here is sorting the values okay df dot sort the values by what which column is mathematics column right uh, sorry matches column so m it is there right and then i have written ascending equals to false and then again the same thing like what is this indexing that is only the first one i want to get it right from zero to one only the first one you will be getting so why i have written because i only want the highest score of the matches and i can see here it is 97 and what exactly i got there right so here see ascending why false i have written ascending because if you don't write ascending equals false you will be getting the things in see if i if i write true you would be getting things in ascending order that is the last one would be there uh, sorry the first one would be there in the last see matches one only right so if you need to write false so you'll be getting the last one at the top and why if i am writing one because if i don't write one i'll get every other data and i don't want that right so you should be very uh, clean with your things right here and then dot index so the index dot value so exactly who is the one you need to find the best result right so best result is this that is the name is ishan sharma right so these are the things now why i am giving you all this because when you will be making projects uh, in your module whatever the things you have to given you have to learn all this right because inside the things were not given, right? Because the name of the projects have been given, but you should know this to complete those things. Otherwise, you would have to do this through all, all the functions and all. And that would be quietly, mainly very hard to understand, right? I'll show you some basic project and uh, sample project will be uploaded today. So you go through th those things and you have Saturday and Sunday times. So once you go through the uh, sample one and try to understand, if you have any doubts, you can ask for the, the Monday, right? So that you have to complete it. Okay, so here the sorting values you can find of the things here very easily, right? Okay, because uh, you have to go through the CSV files only. All right. Okay. Now uh, see if you have like number of players, how many players are playing, what is the span times, number of runs, who has scored the most number of runs, you know, like batting average, who has the highest batting average, and like the strike rates, you know, hundreds who have scored the most number of hundreds or like top three top three batsmen of the this squad who are the top three uh, batsmen 
okay so uh, you can go with the number of strike rates to find the top three batsmen or you can go with the number of uh, hundreds scored like if i go through the number of hundreds scored so what i'll be do doing is df of 100 okay dot value counts and i want top three so i get uh, zero for seven times uh, sorry seven and then five and then two okay so what you can find is uh just a minute no 100 has also been given some things okay 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 so you need to find it not three it's four we need to go access all the things here what is coming three twenty seven one times eighteen one times twelve one times eleven one times seven one time uh, just a minute just a minute One hundred twelve, three, four, three, seven, eighteen. That exactly they are saying. It's zero. No. So like if you see hundreds, you you are getting the values like right? only for twenty-seven. No. Twenty seven is the maximum, minimum is one. This has changed the things, changed the things. No, no, no. It has been sorted box. It has been changed in the DF2. Yeah, it's also changed in the DF. Okay, let's go with the 50. Getting a wrong output for that. What's exactly the problem is coming? Zero for five. Twenty five is the maximum number. Okay. Maximum number of five is twenty five. Okay. Now what we can do is TF of this fifty is equal equal to twenty five. Somewhere. Oh. Into both of this somewhere to, uh, maybe to, okay. See, the problem is I have used equal to now every value will be equal to 25. This is the problem, okay. Uh, let's go with six. So maximum value is for the demand side. Maximum number of sixes. If we find the demand side, locating the demand side. And what do you want? 
sixes for him. So Riddhiman Saha has given 12 sixes. Oh, only 12. Is it something probably? More than 12 sixes are also there. Is it giving some wrong values? Just a minute. Because 12 would be less. 22 I can see there, 33 I can see, 52 also there. Dot max, 52, alright. So 52 is there. So you need to find index value where it's giving it as 52. Okay, so now what we can do is locate that or you can see it in the df dot which is there as a success right so df of 6s oh, why it is there 6s is equal equals to 52 so you will be getting some true results somewhere like in the rohit sharma you are getting right and you need to locate df dot locate this equal equals to true so you are getting the things okay so name basically what we were expected to find that is this all right so we get the name that is Rohit Sharma and 6 for 52 times like this all right so these are the things what you need to go through in the pandas and this could be like you know bit tough for you to understand very small otherwise you can easily go through the things right and i, I guess you know matplotlib plottings and all if you know like So we can make this one as SNS dot plotlib inline and okay. If we plot a figure, if we could see it, I will show you how to plot a figure in there. Changing the fix size. With two around twenty to ten. See this plot of the runs. What the strike rates? If we could do any errors, could not interpret input player. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Use semantic could not input. No errors, please. So basically, you will be getting a graph of runs versus the strike rates who have score the runs with what strike rate you know if we could get i hope we'll be getting it and we got it right so these are the things like you know the graphs you can see like one runs over the strike rates and the colors are there to make you identify the things clearly okay like if you want to see light colors are there, the deep colors are there, okay. you want to give your own colors too, you know, if it works over there, so 
so that would be easy like if you can understand the things with the graphs and all that would be much easier to you know, like see it okay uh, after this uh, yeah we got it so still no cmap is not working all right no problems so you can find like 80s uh, so in this side you have strike rate so the most highest strike rate is of purple as you can see in this one if we zoom out yeah so most highest strike is of purple and you can find like who is having purple color so it's having Rohit Sharma and the strike rate you can find even like from here and it's 335 runs something the strike rate is 80 plus okay so that is how it is being defined runs would be much higher I guess all right, so these are the things, right? Uh, coming up to the date and time modules, coming up to the easiest things. Here, the date and times, right? You need to import this module again, date, time, months. And like, if you need to see the current time, Uh, you'd be taking the date time like in the random you take similarly here from the date time you have to take date time dot the date time and if you are working for the current date time you have to write now that's it and you can print your the variable of your current time so you would be getting the current time variable and you'll be getting the time that is 20 20 12 18 19 39 59 point seven six two one seven two and this is your complete time with your dates event right so you are getting dates then your hours then your minute then seconds and then the microseconds so you can get it your if you write current time dot hour it is your 90 the same thing if I copy paste microsecond you get the microsecond time right with the very same thing if you write for the minute you get the minute and if you write the day you get the date sorry day function you need to write uh, you need to write the year because we have imported the date time right you know if you only import time it would be working something else okay so like you have to write from date time import only the time that's it like this then you can go with the time function so here it in time dot now like that right so this time it will not be called because now it's going to go with things easiest once you set the times you can set it even using the date and time so you know like yesterday what i said you the time function how it works the hour the minute the second the microseconds and then tz infos that is basically the time zone infos right if you know if you know to uh, like access the time zone infos i will give you this is of your time and these are the things inside of this so if you know want to get the t zone names you know right so you can get print the directory of time dot tz name tz names all right, all right. Oh, we we'll doing that. Okay, so like it is. Uh, this is how it goes. So you, you saw the time and date as per right. If you only want the date, right? So you can go with like current date if you want. See, right? So I will be taking it as date time dot only the date and of today you want. So I will be making that today and then the CD you would be getting at the date. That is your date time 2020, 20 and 18. If you apply print over there, you'd be getting something different. Exactly the date is 20. 12 and 18 like that okay that's it so uh, date time has got maximum year minimum year some you know like difference between the dates time delta 
this important parts over there okay now you can print your own dates using like uh, if you write date as i have imported time so if i say time of uh, so time what do you get right uh, how you're getting time see time is like hour minute seconds and then microseconds so if you if i say uh, 2012 okay and then again 12 and then again 12 and then again 12 so it would be like this something like this okay so it would be 12 hour 12 minutes 12 seconds and 0.12 mini seconds uh, microseconds you can say okay like that so you can define the times you can get the times um, from the time stamps too so basically the time stamps are the number of seconds between a particular date and january 1 uh, 1970 at utc's okay so with that reference you can get it that is a time stamp all right so like with the years and all if you are saying so which current year it is i will be reading as date dot today so date is not defined uh, okay so date dot today okay or you say dot year so this is 2020 dot month will be giving you again the same thing 12th and dot day would be giving you 18th okay this is how it works now do you have the parameters and all to define the things with the times Time delta, I guess you know, right? How to go through the time delta between the two times, you know, find the difference between two times over there, how you find those things. You can make it time delta, like if I say T1 is equals to uh, time delta, so I'll be using it time. And so I'm not writing the parameters, right? If you, if you go with the parameters, you'll find that these have a lot of parameters, like uh, where are the parameters? Okay, I need to only write the function. You'll be getting into parameters. Get it, get it, get it. Give it. Okay, not doing fine. So I'm taking T1. So I'll be taking some day, sorry, some year, uh, let's say some month some day let's take some time okay so come a clear what i have taken don't be confused second data i'm taking okay okay like now day would be equals to current day minus the date what do you need okay so total number of days is this module is not callable what is the problem print day t1 has a problem 2020 okay Let me write the parameters.
Hmm. Microseconds are left, but why do you start? T2 is having 11th, 12th, 20, 11th, 8th, 20. Hours and all those things are fine. Date time is not calling. All right. All good. Was not fine. So you get one twenty two days to our forty two minutes and fifty seven seconds. This is like how it works. Difference between two dates. Okay. Now, if you want to find difference between seconds to seconds, you can find it using your time delta. Like, let's say if t one is there and you have a time delta so you need to import it or I'll be using it from there so no do not this one t1 would be equals to your time delta and I'll be taking some seconds over here. The seconds will be let's say two, three, six, seven. And T2 is equals to your time delta. And let's take some seconds here too, and I say some 35 seconds. So X would be equals to your T1 minus T2. Just to see it, okay, and this would be t2 minus t1, okay. Sprinting both of them so that you can identify the things, right? One you will be getting in negative day, so that is your wrong thing. The other you are getting the positive results, so why is your t2 minus t1? That would be always correct, right? 23, 21, and that, okay. So, this is how it goes not to print the things in ways okay. now uh, some time zones are there in python to you know identify the things it's important like you need to import it I'm not here so if you go with the directory of this time zones it find it there you have all time zones country names and country names dot the time zones so all country names are, are there no okay uh, we'll find it from here now if we say country names so, not there, callable, not callable. Oh. 
all time zones so these are all of the time zones you're having like in africa Aptin, and africa Agra. we lie in asia we'll be going on in the asia and somewhere here in the asia we're getting india too. So asia of k is going through asia of q is there where is i Asia of Kolkata, as you can find it there, okay. So this, could, this is our time zone, okay. All right, like that. The country names are there, a lot of things are there. Yeah, it's also. Okay. Then, you know, country time zones, country names. All time zones you have get right. Then there are a lot of things. TZ info, open source, OS, okay. date times, country time zones. I think we have printed now. All time zones. Okay. So this is how it goes, right? Like now, if you like, if I print London time zones, I will taking time zone of London. So it will be like P Y T Z dot your time zone. Okay. And I'll be saying it from Europe slash London because it lies in Europe, right? And I say DT of London. So it would be a time dot. What is the current time of London, right? So it will be TZ of underscore of London. And then I print Oops. using the input function and it's saying London is equals to now you can write it here date time dot sorry, why date time? It's DT. DT of London dot str of time basically making the time in some string format what we want so like percentile m percentile d percentile y oh it's not even percentile i'm giving a comma with the r's so the way we would be writing would be getting the things Would be running this str of time str of time and the London is having right now as this will be making some lines over there yes and this is 12 18 2020 over there and the thing I should write D M L Y where so it's 18, 12, 2020 and 14, 27 and 5. All right. This is how it goes. So this is all of your time zones. Let me stop your video.